You know, something that almost every pro knows how to do in Fortnite is looking at their own plays and being able to constructively criticize themselves so that they can improve in the future. Put your crush on me where you at your motivation guy. That's right, I am back. I'm so pumped up because today I'm here to tell you that everybody makes mistakes, right? Even the biggest pros on the planet. So let's take a look at some of the biggest mistakes that you should try to stop making in season seven so that you can instantly improve at the current meta. Are you guys ready for this? Let's get this going. You know, one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of people make in Fortnite is something that is incredibly easy to fix. Don't carry too many weapons in your games. You know, the meta at the moment is simple. You know, we're right back into a season where you can dominate any lobby using only two guns if necessary, the pump and the assault rifle. And so that leaves the rest of your item slots free for things like meds and heals, unless you get lucky and just come across a sniper rifle or a rail gun to fill out that third weapon slot. So three weapons are all you really need to carry at the max right now. Like you typically don't want to carry any more than three weapons at a time because those extra weapons you aren't using in your inventory end up becoming pretty redundant. Like think to yourself, like is there really a situation where using an SMG over your pump or your AR is going to change the game? The answer is probably not. And so having a utility item in your inventory like a med kit and some minis is going to be way more beneficial for you, you know, over the course of the game. It's going to help you out so much more if you ever find yourself in a sticky situation. So now in season seven, there are, of course, certain exceptions with some of the items in the game right now. There could be a rare instance, for example, where you end up carrying four weapons, a shotgun and a saw rifle or a pulse rifle, a sniper or a rail gun, and then the recon scanner. So it's debatable if the recon scanner should really even be classed as a weapon though, considering it's not used to do damage and is instead just much more of a utility item. Either way guys, like make sure that you're stocking on heals instead of just useless pistols and SMGs. All right, so if you're making mistakes in Fortnite, ProGuys.com can seriously help you out. Our innovative VOD review system will help you uncover exactly what mistakes you're making. You know, all you need to do is just send a VOD review, you know, to our website and allow one of our pro coaches to review it for you, identifying exactly what went wrong in your game so that you can improve fast. So something that we all too often nowadays is to see people who every single game stick with the same exact loadout no matter what situation they find themselves in. And so with the addition of the nuts and bolts that allow you to side grade, you should at least be looking to try out a couple of different loadouts that alternate from the popular AR and pump meta. Believe it or not guys, the Burst AR is actually an incredibly good gun in its current form. And it's not like simply trying it out in a game is going to do you any harm, right? Like trying side graded weapons or something like the pulse rifle will take you out of your comfort zone and force you to becoming all around more skilled player since you're having to adapt to new styles every time you get into a fight. You know, it's not like you're going to immediately going to find like a high powered pump or assault rifle on every drop, right? All in all, like if you feel like you're comfortable with the old reliable combo of the AR and a pump, you know, that's great. But switching it up every now and then is even better. You know, one of the major things that differentiates a pro player from a casual player is planning. You know, in every single competitive tournament, you're gonna find that every pro trio will have their very own drop spot. You know, a designated loot route and somewhere planned out for them to be able to move and rotate to later on. You know, they're gonna even put effort into predicting where other players are going to be so that they can use them to pick up some storm surge damage or even early eliminations. You know, the start of each game is as meticulously planned out as a game of chess, to the point that as long as they aren't contested by any other team, or as long as they don't get pushed off spawn, they pretty much know exactly what's going to happen by the time they reach the mid game. Now, obviously, we don't expect every single player to be able to analyze and predict everything in a game to the levels of the best pros, but you do need to stop going into your matches completely blind as to where you and your teammates are going to rotate. And so if you already have a drop spot picked out, that's a good start, but you should also plan out things like what chess spawns each of you will go to look for or look at or using websites like Fortnite.gg to do so in order to really stop everyone from just stealing each other's loot. Okay, so we promise you that if you take the time to properly choose and then fully plan on a drop spot, then you're gonna see a massive boost in your overall consistency when it comes to in-game performance. Since by doing this, you're gonna make it much less likely to really get eliminated unluckily off spawn. This is another really simple tip that is easily avoidable in the new season, so don't peek for too long. You know, we've all been in a situation where we're trying to shoot an enemy quite far away, and all of a sudden they whip out a sniper and headshot you out of the lobby. You know, it's so easy to get caught off guard by a sniper shot to the head, like, you know, but at the same time, this mistake is easily avoidable. You know, you can train your peeking skills up by just simply practicing in creative and being more aware of how much you're peeking. 
And also, please don't take risk and just heal up out in the open. Like we've all done that before, right? <laughs> and we know how it ends. Always box up, keep the risk low, and reward high. All right, Brush Across Army, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the question of the day. Okay, so today we want to know what you think is the biggest mistake that you make in your Fortnite games. Let us know in the comments down below. Be honest, because we check out every single one of them. All right, back to the video. Okay, so the Railgun Recon Scanner meta right now is the most broken combo in the game. You know, super overpowered and needs to be nerfed. But that doesn't mean we can't try to best survive when facing somebody who's using that combo. So the biggest mistake most players make when they see the railgun laser just coming through their walls is for them to panic. You know, the best thing for you to do, guys, is, you know, is to run directly away from where the laser is coming from and just get out of the recon scanner's x-ray area as fast as you can, while also making sure that there is many walls between you and the railgun. Okay, so the second the enemy takes that shot at you, you know, you should probably either just keep running away or counterattack while they reload. Now, you don't want to just make another mistake where you try to heal up only to be shot again through a wall. So if you do decide to counterattack, man, like you should W key them with as much pressure as possible. You know, one downside from using a railgun recon combo is that the railgun takes ages to reload. And that means that they can't just carry that many healing items, assuming they have a shotgun and assault rifle also. So you should use these negatives against the enemy, taking advantage of the long reload time by W King as much as possible. If you know that you're not going to be able to W key them because you're already weak or something like that, like pretty much your only option is really to run away and hope they don't find you, which is pretty unlikely since they have a recon scanner. Okay, so the last mistake that we have for you guys is using the wrong materials at the wrong times, Oof. especially during arena or tournament matches. You know, during the early game, you only want to really use wood to fight other players and just save up the brick and metal for late game boxing and tarping. So this is mainly because wood is easier to farm than metal and brick, and also because metal takes more bullets to just break, which is better for a packed in game when everyone is shooting at each other. You know, obviously don't take this to hard guys. And you know, if you absolutely just need to use your hard match early game, as long as you know, you could just restock up on metal quickly. Yeah, I guess you'd be good. All right, bunch of crest army, it's time for the recap on the biggest mistakes that you need to work on during season seven. All right, number one, man, don't carry too many items rather than heals. Do you really need an SMG and a sniper? Like really, use those slots to carry heals instead, which are more reliable, especially for late game. All right, number two, go outside your comfort zone for a while and just try new loadouts. Not only will this improve your overall skill and ability to think outside the box, you just might find a weapon that you prefer. Okay, so number three, always plan your drop spots and rotate. If you don't do this, guys, every single game, you're much more likely to die off spawn and early on in your games. Okay, so don't make yourself an easy target for snipers. This is such an easy mistake to make, yet so easily avoidable. You know, box up when healing and just practice your peaking mechanics in creative, all right? All right, number five, even though the recon scanner and railgun combo is a broken combo, you should still have hope when coming against it, all right? Like dodge those lasers as quickly as you can. And when you have the chance, just W key them. All right, last one. Always use wood early game and just save up your hard mats for late game. Hard mats like brick and metal can be better used when tarping or boxing up mid game. And you know, wood is just better off for peace control. All right, Bunch of Crush Sami, that's gonna be it for today's biggest mistakes that you need to avoid in Fortnite Chapter 2, Season 7. If you guys liked the video, make sure you sub to the channel. And if you guys wanna connect with me on my Instagram, I would love to connect with you at Your Motivation Guy. Listen, keep grinding, don't stop, never give up, never surrender. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Oh, <laughs>